Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, it's been a couple days. We our, our daughter was out of daycare. That takes up my afternoon when normally I would be playing Super Auto Pets. But you know what that means is that maybe the backlog actually gets a chance to catch up. Ooh, I'm glad I bought the chinchilla at least. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but I'm glad I bought it. Let's be tiny swimmers. Um... So that we're not playing a weekly that's like, you know, almost a week out of date by the time the video goes up on YouTube. I know, it sounds a little insane. But we live in a crazy world. We're living in crazy times. I don't know, it just seemed like a decent capstone to what I was saying. Okay, how about this? How about this? How about a roll? How about a roll? How about a roll? How about a Kaiser roll? How about a dinner roll? It's crazy how rolls are just bread, right? Hold on, I'm, he's floundering. Get him out of there. <laughs> this hurts. I think if we had our, our better chinchilla at the back, we would have won that one. But that's a rare edge case. I'm not worried about it too much. We're going to try a jellyfish just because we got two potential level ups pretty quick here. I still think you can make a case for the dog. And a, a croissant tends to be a pretty nice pickup. I think you would probably end up croissanting the dog because it's very, very likely to stick around. And if you're doing a big sell, you should sell the chinchilla last so that you have the capacity to fit your other units. This makes a lot of sense to me. Dying also, unfortunately, makes a lot of sense to me, but I, I feel like we're doing okay. This, this team, it has, it has future prospects. I would roll for now. I still don't like this squad. I'm going to roll one more time. I hate this squad, but we have to do something. So how about a sell me? How about a buy me? Don't shoot the messenger. The jellyfish is probably gone pretty soon, but like... Well, let's sell it first then. Sell me? That's not where I wanted that to go. Let me get a, the double sell. Thank you so much. And then the, the, we've got... Uh, Ruka, hold on. This cat is going down in the freaking cords, man. I'm going to lose it. All right, the cord situation is saved. Don't hit the other chinchilla with this. But thank you so much. I couldn't have asked for more. Now, check this out. That's very nice. We got a lot of HP, probably more than the average squad would have at this point. Let's throw a hedgehog in, in here just to mess about. Let's give the hedgehog some support for now. We can roll a little bit more. To try to find a good unit? Yeah, I would do this. We'll put our bat at the front for now. So what's happening next round? Probably the mosquito was gone. We keep trying to make this dog pop. This seems fine. It seems better than fine. It seems amazing. It would be nice to get another dog soon. That, that would help out. Another two, preferably. Okay, so sell me. Keep the bat for now, I think. Buy me place me. I think it's worth a freeze in a dog build, even at the worst of times. And then honestly, I think we just take two stat points for two gold over and over. I do it again. I do it again. The bat being able to live, big positive, move to the back, take an Emperor Tamarin real quick. But beautiful. I love it. I don't think we want a pineapple on our hedgehog. Not yet, anyway. I don't know how deep into the hedgehog build we're going. I usually take um one hedgehog and go, I'm not going to make my whole run hedgehogs. And then I make my whole run hedgehogs. So, and then usually I get like four wins. So let's try not to do that. That was, that went unfortunately for us, but that's okay. Honestly, I hate to overwrite a croissant, but this will help us out a lot. And then we don't want a snail. So roll me once. Sell a tamarind, get a tamarind. I mean, this seems, this seems crazy. Sell a tamarind. Buy a tamarind. <laughs> Sell, wait, roll, sell the tamarind. We got a 3-7 fish. That's actually not that bad. 3-7 tropical fish. And we'll, pro something's got to go. Either the, the shrimp, the bat, the fish, or the hedgehog. Obviously, our other uh, units are a little bit more valuable. They, it's got to go in order to fit some more stuff to facilitate the dog build. I think we got lucky with the draw there, honestly. We got lucky with our weakness, too. Right now, I feel like the shrimp is not generating enough. So I think we can kill shrimp by selling it. The fish 
is like it's close, but I don't think it's quite there. I think we might sell our hedgehog too. And then take a mantis, and if a mantis kills the kills the fish, I might be okay with it, but I gotta I gotta think this one through, okay? I really don't want it to kill two fish. Am I okay with it killing one fish? Maybe killing the worst fish and then getting garlic for a future round? And we could get our back closer to level two. I think in transition, this is not that dumb of a team. We get double HP on our dog. We get a little HP on our mantis. We give our mantis more survivability. That's probably not relevant immediately, but could be very important throughout the game later. We survive till chocolate when we can get a level two dog. We got no units we're super attached to. That makes it e It's a bad thing, but it also makes it easy for us to... Uh, uh, to, to pivot to higher tier units without getting too attached to the units we already have. Okay, so there's, I mean, there's pluses and minuses in this world. I think you gotta let, like, oh, see what you get on the level up. Something's gotta give. I kind of feel like a level two tropical fish gives us too much. The only, the downside is that we can't, like, it gives us too much to give up, I should say. The downside is that it um, can't be adjacent to a mantis, which needs the HP more than anything else, or the mantis will just kill it dead. So, you gotta... <laughs> I guess you take the good with the bad, is what I'm trying to say. Big save there. But that, that 4 HP per turn can easily matter. It would be nice to be able to distribute it a little better. Well, let's see what we get. We're gonna get a tier 6. A walrus, a great death touch target. But then we don't have space to buy anything else right now, which is unfortunate. So what do you do? Um, another bat for the future. Not really interested. In, a shark makes a lot of sense, actually. I, so I, I know I was just talking up the tropical fish. But I actually feel like... We, we could buy sell once and then get a little buff on our dog. But I think I would rather shark because you're going to get bonuses permanently in the shop here as well as in the battle. And then roll for like some dupes. Level two dog. Although we're, we're scaling probably via food now. Maybe a level, a level two shark, a level three bat or a level two mantis might even be more important. Maybe we got... Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Maybe we got to say that our, our dog... Is, um, is now a secondary buff target, and our Mantis is the primary buff target, and we just let our dog be like a decent mid-range. Well, we're probably not selling our bat anytime soon. It's like a substantially better Scorpion. Um, both of these are great. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is better because we get an extra buff in the shop. We gotta keep this. And if, honestly, for one round, Having you, like, kill a Sabretooth doesn't bother me. We need to do it for the buff anyway. And then, yeah, we don't get the hurt trigger off of it, but that, but that's fine. I'm also thinking maybe we start to talk about... And this is this might be crazy, so just hear me out. Maybe we start to talk about um, bad at the front. Oh, but we can't put Mantis at the back. Shark has to be at the back. Very fair. Very fair. You need a lemon. I don't really think you need to get to level three. I think you're kind of, you're getting there as is. Although to freeze you would probably be sensible. The only thing is we need a unit to kill this turn. So we're going to freeze the whole shop. <laughs> and then I'm like, hold on, hold on. If you got a frog in here properly, you could make like your dog a death touch. Or you could make your mantis a death touch. Would we rather just have, like, no, no, no. I think for one round, this actually matters. Let's buy this. Oh, but it's got to be, no, this is, this is good, man. Let's make a, a, a stronger death touch unit before the back. We don't need to keep this frozen anymore. The Mantis needs to hit level two to scale faster. Okay. This is it's tough, but it, I, it looks worse than it is. Like, actually, when I said this was tough, I'd like to go back on that. It was actually the easiest thing we've ever done. It's a bit of a scumbag team, but it's, it's definitely doing some work. Okay, this is not as good as it would have been earlier, but whatever. That's fine. Um, let's prioritize this just because it's funny. 
And then, I mean, a lemon would beat a garlic for sure. But is there anything worth killing? Yes, an armadillo. So you get unfrozen. The dog scales a little faster. Move you back. I think it looks like we're not scaling fast enough. But I think we might be scaling fast enough. I'm not saying we're flawlessing the game. But, like, a, a shark that's level 2 gets a huge buff every turn in the shop and has a lemon... That's a tough that's a tough one to deal with, honestly. So I think we need we wanna overwrite some garlic. Let's overwrite it on the dog. Let's buy one of these. And a level two mantis is gonna slap for us. Um, and the next step is probably lemon on the mantis. We do rely on overriding our enemy's great equipment. That's, that's like a must. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you, you're so freaking lucky. I was a millimeter away from going sicko mode there. Okay, but that's good. Again, our dog's not that good anymore, but its stats are good. It's, it's a hard one to pivot off of. Um, I would say take some HP. And then I would say we got some killables that are not horrendous. I'm not going to freeze the other one, though, I think. Let's overwrite some good equipment. Yeah, there's some scary teams we're going up against. Maybe I was a little ambitious to think that we're gonna we're gonna crush here. Like that snake is kind of um, it's kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying me. My God, my God, we got there despite that snake going off on us. I still think we're scaling fast enough. I do. I really do. It would be nice to get the bat to level three. The shark doesn't need it, but we would probably do it anyway. You need some support. We could kill a mammoth. I'm very mammoth blind. We shouldn't have bought the mammoth first, because then the mammoth gets a salad that could have gone to somebody else. That 1-1 one, one loss is unlikely to make a difference, but it's the principle of the thing. Okay, shark moving up to the front. Not so good. No death touch getting overridden. Not so good. <laughs> Hold on. We still managed to sneak a draw, despite our whole squad getting turned upside down. Beautiful. We don't really need another turtle. We can't rearrange our squad really to make it work. Another walrus would go off here. We're, we're going to keep the shark moving towards level 3 for meme-based purposes. Don't really need it. Um, wanted, I suppose. Yeah, okay. We got to find a way to get over some humps. Honestly, a level 3 bat is much more important than a level 3 shark right now. Because we need to override equipment. No. Dude, my death touch boy. <laughs> Again with the... Okay, it's the same guy. They've got infinite death touch. That's scary. We're not even on lethal yet. That's kind of crazy. The shark's already going to be 50-50. We might as well just try to get the bat there. And then what are we leaving out here to be killed? We could just put another mammoth there for, for now. And honestly, for three gold, it's basically like we're buying a mammoth next turn as well. The dog got the death touch. I think that's good. Oh my god, dude, look at these squats. Also, are you seeing the absurd value of a seahorse? I never would have expected a seahorse to go off like this, man. We're gonna die. Yeah, okay, we gotta we gotta make it out of this one. These I don't wanna be with these teams anymore, man. Turn 18, it's a nightmare. Okay, I think two two stats don't matter to us. What matters the most? We don't need the, like another death touch, although I'm, I'm not a it, like it just costs too much, I guess, right now. But we got three wins we gotta get. The only thing that really matters is chocolate on the bat or a bat. I think that that matters. It, it, it takes a very specific thing to actually make this team better. So that's what we're fishing for. We're, we're probably just gonna get outstatted. I mean, even this team looks insanely great. <laughs> they look like unbelievably good. I don't know though. We got some. We got some great death touch. We're doing damage through the death touch. We win this one. We're back. We're back. Okay. Keep putting the one up on the mammoth. Gives us one more turn to find another bat, please. I'm not buying a pair. I can't bring myself to do it. Okay. I can't. Can I get some chocolate or a bat, please? I'll buy pizza, but like, I don't want to. I'd like some chocolate or a bat, please. I'd like some chocolate or a bat, please. 
I guess I'm buying one one buffs. I guess I'm buying one one. I'm buying a salad. We just the, the the extra overwrite of equipment is the only thing that matters to me. It's oh my god, we're we're gonna let their blowfish pop a little bit. Not that much. Not that much. My death touch. My death touch. My Gamora. Oh, we're fine. I didn't realize we're completely fine. Okay. Okay. Now this one's for all the marbles. A little chocolate. A little chocolate would really hit the spot right now. We sincerely don't need death touch. It's actually worse to keep it frozen, I think. A bat, maybe? Or a chocolate? Simple bat. <laughs> or, or a chocolate? Please? But really? Okay, well, uh, do double damage maybe one time. Are we, are we, what are we going to do with our three gold? It's, uh, it's the only play available. Okay, I'm immediately scared looking at this team. Just because it looks very strange to me. And people are afraid of the unfamiliar, okay? They got a double death touch. They got a triple death touch. So we're, we're going to draw. Okay. Maybe, maybe I should have been putting more respect on death touch's name. Okay, are we really... Is that the next step? The next step is just buffing this bat. I mean, I feel like a pizza is, is not advisable. Dog unnecessary, insubordinate and churlish. I'll take a cat and a pizza and pray that it hits not maxed units. Okay, that's it, it hit the bad at least. So I'm, I'm going to say it justified its own existence, maybe. It's legitimately never gone this far. My God, we draw. <laughs> Can I get a bat, maybe? Like, or a chocolate? Seems like one of those things that shouldn't be so hard. I guess we want a shark. I just don't see you doing enough, but maybe for one round we could talk about it. Um, I do think you have to go... You're definitely getting killed. You're 4-8. I'm not going to kill, like, a, a 24-32 death touch bat that overrides two pieces of equipment. I don't know how much longer we are for this world, though. That's kind of sick. Okay, they have three death touch. We literally can't win. <laughs> but I also think we can't not draw. Okay, so we're we're locked in uh, purgatory here. We could really use a bat, maybe some death touch. Just throwing that out there. I'm not buying stew at this point. Look at the squad, man. A bat! It happened. Okay, what about a snake for one round? And then the future is we really don't need a mantis. The future pickup that could save us is a walrus. I think we should have been focusing the walrus a little bit more earlier, but the walrus is, is the thing that could, could take us to the next level, man. One up boars a little strange. Or maybe maybe we're just gonna maybe we're just gonna win this one. I don't see how we could lose now. Okay, that's a very weird game, but we got there. Wait, I've never won with a shark on level three? Really? That seems inconceivable to me. But okay, turn game one, turn 23. That's a bit of a marathon. Let's run it back. I don't know. Maybe the squad is good. Ladybug is great. I'm just... If you don't buy it first round, I think it's a little late. It would be an overpriced fish. But just pretend that that's an overpriced ladybug right now. Huh? Huh? Okay, we draw. Don't level? Yeah, you take that level, you look for a dog early, and you, you saw what it did. Can I tell you, by the way, this is, this is no joke. It's no joke hour right now. I felt like... I don't want to buy a seahorse, but I felt like running into enemy teams with seahorses, that the seahorse maybe is like a great target to buy early if you get a bunch. And then, it's got to be a draw. Um, like, because you need one, you usually get one unit in the first three turns that you just scale. The Seahorse seems like a great target for that. Its effect is, like, useless at the start of the game in this weekly, but then becomes very useful when people start running, uh, I mean, what's a good word? More, more finicky squads, maybe? I think we can try a blowfish. It's, it, it's not really cost effective to scale it with a lady or with a gr green beetle right now. I guess I'm adding a chinchilla to the squad. And you know what? Like, I mean, if you want to go sicko mode, we got a lot of HP, relatively. 
it's possible we'll play against squads that don't have a lot of HP and our Hedgehog will, will be effective for us in that sense. I'm not going to say I called it. The, the trick with this is just not investing too much into the Hedgehog that you feel like you can't pivot later. That's, I, I think that's it's merely science. And I, I know I said that as we bought another one, but here's the thing. I really don't want this beetle to die. Even though meat on the hedgehog would be nice, I think it's more important that you live. And I think the best way for you to live right now is you just take a freaking cookie. We'll level you up next time to get that level. So none of our units are dying to the AoE. However, if our opponent has a single hedgehog, we can't win. <laughs> True. Oh, wait. Well, okay. Our, our one hedgehog died to the AoE, but the math still worked out. Um, that was the rare, efficient cookie purchase, I feel. I feel pretty smart there. How about one of these? Um, I just don't understand it, and as a result, I'm offended by its existence here. Very interesting. Very interesting, isn't it? Um, so, remember I said the trick is not to go in too hard on them. I think this is an, an example of what would be considered going in too hard. I think we don't even need to spend the gold on this. Spend the gold on other stuff that's more cost effective. And use the hedgehogs as something we can get rid of at some point. By the way, have I rolled past like 10 elephants? I had like a little a nightmare moment there in my brain where I was like, Did I roll past 10 ele elephants? I think I might have rolled past 10 elephants. Okay, definitely seems like the, the squad's starting to fall off, which is fine. <clears throat> Sell me? Sell me. And th this is where we're going a little sicko mode, okay? We're going to have a lot of gold here, but we got to make it work for us. Hit the elephant and the blowfish, okay? At, at least you're going to live through an attack. That's something. Um, don't invest too much in them. Two elephants, not really relevant here. Pineapple on the... On the hedgehog? Interesting, but not relevant. Okay, this is a very dangerous maneuver. If we can get a hippo scaled, it will go to the moon for us. How are we going to get a hippo scaled? I don't know. We need to wait till, like, maybe pairs exist. This isn't, this isn't as bad as it looks, probably. It's not. It's not as bad as it looks. Look! The hedgehogs can actually go, too. I think we're, like, it being round seven, I think we're too late to just go all in on this team. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And this is, you know what? We never do. It's fun. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> and then, yes, this would be how we would scale a, hi a hippo if we hadn't just sold it uh, mere seconds ago. Uh, you already got garlic. Why don't you take a little support in the form of, of all these buffs? This squad cannot last into the late game, but maybe we could pivot off of those hedgehogs to like a tier six when a tier six chooses to show up. You can't deny is is doing some impressive work for now. Case in point, okay? But it, it has a serious ceiling where you stop making progress. That's very helpful though. Now a poodle, three, three, two, two, two. We don't really care if our giraffe gets buffed. Could we consolidate hedgehogs here? I think you could do better than consolidate. I think you would like be content selling one. And that we'll just hope that the poodle buff hits the unit we want it to hit right now. We don't need it. That's the, the thing is we don't need it. I think you make sense though. Three, three, two, two. Please don't hit the hedgehog. It hit the hedgehog and the giraffe. Some, something to be said about that. Hold on, it's a great day to have garlic. I love that for me. Okay, that was, that was we beat the mirror. We win the mirror match right now. That seems good. We need health. Okay, forget a level two hedgehog. We need health. The level one hedgehog is doing his part. I know that's a very rare roll. I would love to see a level three. Uh, a level three elephant. You buffed the blowfish this time. I still, the elephant still needs some support, okay? That's not even that bad. Probably. A couple of quick snipes. You never know what could happen with a couple of quick snipes. You never know what could happen with a couple of quick snipes. We got the six. That's very successful for this archetype. 
Now let's get some, okay, exactly the units I wanted that to hit without a doubt. Don't, we don't need it, man. We don't need it. A lemon, strictly superior. I definitely think it's a worthy upgrade. I also think a pear is a worthy upgrade. We, okay, the elephant needs our support, okay? He's got the lemon. He act, is the thing that actually activates our, uh, our blowfish, really. Oh, no. Please, please. Oh, we, we broke it before the trigger could go. We're still going to lose. I'm just going to go ahead and call that poodle difference, honestly. That's our first loss. But I will say I think the rest of our losses could come pretty fast. <laughs> okay, you're, like, basically strictly better. I didn't know that that was coming down the pipe. Okay, 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 I suppose. Well, we're, we're going to live to have a chance to scale. I don't even know what got scaled, honestly. It has, the, the poodle's been changed to be like random scaling. So you gotta, you gotta keep that in mind. We'd love to shoot our shark a little. Love to just shoot the, love to shoot the shark just though. That's fine. We, we, it, that's not a situation where we got bad luck. We would have needed to have amazing luck for that to pop. But there was a chance and that's what, that's what stings. Cat could maybe scale us out of this, but I, I really do think we're kind of looking at like a little double poodle action. I don't think garlic's the way. Not the way. The way. The way, maybe? Combine and then get some... Oh, but we don't want Death Touch to overwrite some of the stuff we got. Maybe it's not random, because they... <laughs> appear to be largely just hitting the poodle over and over. We're popping melons. We're still popping melons. We're still doing damage. You've outscaled me to a large degree here. Okay, there. I mean, this would be pretty miraculous, but I'm not combining them. We need. I. I genuinely think we need the double scaling, and we need more HP. Please, thank you. Thank you for buffing our elephant. And then maybe. If we manage to live through this, which is relatively unlikely. A level three elephant? No, we're gonna lose. This is a loss. And that's okay. I mean, I don't wanna say we called it, but we've we freaking called it. What did we say? This this team falls off fast, it has big scaling problems. We had fun with it regardless. And we also had that marathon at the start. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. Feels good to be back, and I'll see you next time. See ya.